Election Day is just a couple of days away, and today we have Dave Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter here to talk about some of the big races next Tuesday. Dave, nice to have you on the show today. Very happy to be here. I didn't know there was going to be a ban. That's great. Oh, yeah. Tailgate Fridays here on PA Live. you got to love it. Uh, one of the big races, Luzerne County Controller. Tell us about this one. Well, the Luzerne County Controller's race is going to be very interesting because you have Carolee Medico, who was a former county office holder running for the seat vacated by Walter Griffith. Then you have um, Michelle Bednar, who's running on the Democratic side. It's the contrast between Bednar and Olenjinsky Medico. Bednar basically wants to calm down the office of controller and have a little more stability in it and a lot less drama because, as you know, Walter Griffith, you know, had the wiretapping problem and basically had to resign. And Medico Olenjinsky says, you know who I am. And what that means is there will be drama in the uh, controller's office because she is going to be a watchdog if she gets elected in terms of, you know, coming after people and saying, hey, you know, where, where's this money going and what's happening with it? So it's, it's a contrast between the two. All right. Also in Luzerne County, you're seeing a lot of the uh, candidates for council uh, spending money this time around, buying some TV commercials. So this race heating up. Uh, tell us what uh, some of the hotly contested seats are there. Well, you have 11 council seats that are up for grabs. You have four incumbents who are defending the fact that they raise taxes. Right now, this county is in debt $436 million. They all want to try to, uh, you know, try to uh, get the debt um, under control, but it, it, is, it is such a big problem that uh, the candidates are all saying that, the, some are saying that they have to raise taxes, others are saying that they don't have to raise taxes. I can tell you who the candidates are. I mean, if you want me to, because I have a list here if you need to do that. But, um, you know, you have on the Democratic side, you have Eileen Sorokas, and you also have, let me, I have a list here, so I might as well give it to you. Um, um, Mike Gamber, um, Kid Kaffernan, uh, Linda McCloskey-Hawk, Eileen Sorokas, and um, Renee Tafera. And then on the Republican side, you have Kathy Dobash, Paul DeFable, Linda Rossi, Harry Haas, and Jean Kelleher, Rick Williams. Now, you have four incumbents running. They're defending the tax increase. And then you have other people who are saying, we can't raise taxes. But you have $436 million in debt. And that's going to be uh, interesting to see how a new county council, if elected, will take on this debt. And quickly, let's talk about uh, Lackawanna County and the Scranton mayoral race. Twelve years of Mayor Doherty. He's uh, you know, not going to be running in this election. Tell us uh, who you think is going to pull this one off. I think that it's going to be very interesting because you have two candidates running who some people will say are flawed. You have uh, uh, Jim Mulligan, who had some issues with uh, bills, and then you had Bill Cartwright, who had some issues in terms of past tax liens. And I think, I think it's going to be interesting in the sense that Courtright is going to have the Democratic support, but on the other side of the coin, Mulligan is running in a very aggressive campaign and might get the disaffected voters from the Liz Randall camp in the last primary. I have a feeling Courtright's going to win, but it's going to be very, very close. Dave, you have a blog site uh, that uh, kind of summarizes all of your thoughts. Where can people find out more about you online? It is the LULAC Political Letter. Just, just uh, uh, Google LULAC Political Letter. It's www.blackspot LULAC Political Letter. You'll be able to find it. All right, Dave Yonkai from the LULAC Political Letter. Thanks for stopping by and giving us your political insight. Thank you. All right, let's head over to Brittany. All right, it's time now to check in with our social media question of the day, and today it has to do